John Moran has released a statement following oh. his suspension. You know, I've I seen uh, where uh, Suki was talking about, you know, she feel like he's been targeted. And If it's not a crime, then he has his rights to do what he wants. It's not a crime. So now at this point, I feel like he's being targeted because he's he's a black successful man. If it's not a crime and you can have your gun that's licensed and you're licensed to carry and you're in, on your property, he should be able to do that just like how everybody else does it. He didn't break a law, right? He didn't. You can own a gun. Uh, but then again, he he has a Nike contract. Police wear Nike, okay? Security guards wear Nike. Bodyguards wear Nike. These are people that have guns. Ball alert, ball alert, welcome to the show. Welcome to the Ball Alert Show podcast. Available everywhere you get your podcast. Please make sure you like, subscribe, and share our YouTube page at Baller Alert TV. I go by the name of Ferrari Simmons. I go by the name, you know BT. OCT with that. Uh, are you guys ready to get into the show? Yeah, yes, man. Rari, they always want to know why you're laughing. Like, I think Rari okay. is so yeah. funny. Like, he just, he just oh, yeah. has the, the comments. Are, I mean, you know, it's we could talk about we a lot of stuff. the camera. No, but I wish we could talk about a lot of stuff that we talk about off, off camera, camera. We can because the stuff that's a lot of times when y'all see the intro when Ferrari's laughing, he's laughing because he's we, we said, said we're talking about some funny shit. I am going through a slick midlife crisis. Look at my gray hairs, guys. It is coming through. Jesus Man, you better put some Christ. Beijing on. No, that I don't thing. want to. I want them to come, but not like that. You're aging gracefully. Yeah, man. Yeah, almost forty. Y'all okay. said y'all said a guest has some stinking breath or something. New. No, I don't know what you're talking about. Just in case you missed it. It's official. Uh, Montana becomes the first state to ban TikTok in the United States. Do you think it's gonna last? Montana. Montana. They. I mean, what do they do there anyways? Nothing. Now, they're 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 literally uh, punishing those people in Montana because mm-hmm. they don't have anything else to but do. Maybe out they there. do know something that we don't know. I think TikTok should be controlled, but at the end of the day, I mean, what is controlled out well, here? Well, what's anyway? controlled is, you know, our government is 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 control freaks, uh, whether people believe it or not. And they're like, listen, this is a company that you got to understand Facebook and Instagram, those companies are kind of controlled a little bit by the government. That's why, you know, you see Mark Zuckerberg and all these guys going to court over, you know, certain things. Information. They, let's, yeah. just, let's just put it out there. Our information, uh, TikTok is a Chinese base, China based yep. app, mm-hmm. and our information is being in, entered into the app. And it's a app that's based in a different country. Right. So what are they doing with our information? I mean, they probably are, they probably they studying us. Those those people are uh, smart people, so they probably studying us. So that's why it's being banned, and people are like, "Hey, hey, 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 we're entering our information. What are you guys doing with the information?" Because the mm-hmm. U.S. is like, we're the only ones that can control us. We're the only ones that need do, uh, do us. You guys information. see that countries are not are not are no longer acknowledging the U.S. dollar. That's a whole other topic for another day. Yeah. Okay, Yo Gotti says he has $2 million for any lawyer that can get 42 Doug out of jail early. Did you see that post? He posted on his Instagram story. Yeah. That's what he wanted for his birthday, even though Angela Simmons got him a Tessie for his birthday. The yeah. Lamborghini Doe Tessie. That's the mm-hmm. one I want. But they, uh, 42 Doug went on his stories and said that mm-hmm. his conditions were, were kind of terrible. Yeah, bad. I mean, he's in. And like they're, he delay, put, they're delaying a lot of things, too. Yeah, like he had to eat his food or something or, or heat his, yeah, he used used food water from hot, the chow- shower. Yeah, with hot water. Mm. I mean, but, you know, people people got to understand is is jail. I, yeah. I, I've never seen a jail, nice jail. jail but he, is modern day slavery. Yeah, slavery. But it is. He, um, didn't he feel like he was being targeted for something? Mm-hmm. Rappers are definitely targeted in jail. When you're in jail and, you know, you're a known millionaire, mm-hmm. those guards don't give a damn. If anything, they'll treat you worse than... And the they happy to see you. In that some you places, you'll be, you'll be okay. But in some places, it depends on who your your guards well, are. If you go to jail, jail is uh, is worse than prison. You know, yeah, you got jail and you got prison, guys. Mm-hmm. And then you got you know you got the federal shit. You mm-hmm. got the state. You got the county. Mm-hmm. You got a lot of stuff. It's different. It's different I levels. Said, listen, my homeboy Facetime me from jail on Instagram. Yeah, they be having phones you can up have the in, phone there. in there. Well, I, I, I don't think you can have one, but I think they well, be listen, having them. You can't have the phone. I didn't they pick have up. phones. I didn't pick up. I, I, <laughs> yeah, me too. Me too. 
BTA in it, okay? If it. it's illegal, BTA <laughs> doing if, it. If, if, if I feel like it's illegal. He, it's a famous rapper that Leave texts me, me from jail. I'm not gonna say his name. I'm not trying to. Get him. It's a famous rapper that texts me from jail. I'd be scared to text back and forth with him. That's what I'm saying. I'm like, hey, hey, man. I see a missed call from Instagram. From, I'm, oh, like, God. I'm like, I, I FaceTime me from uh, prison. Well, well, speaking of jail, somebody that's teetering with jail. Uh, let's get into the players' ball. Big balling. I'm a baller. John Morant has released a statement following oh. his suspension. I've known I've dis- disappointed a lot of people who have supported me. This is a journey, and I re- recognize there is more work to do. My words may not mean much right now, but I take full accountability for my actions. I'm committed to continuing to work. I think the statement is is, is, is bullshit. I will say the <laughs> Nike app no longer features Ja Morant's signature shoe. That's a nice shoe too. Listen, ain't, ain't nothing but a remix version of the Kyrie want the Kyrie's. Ooh. Well, I, I'm I'm not a shoe guy. I don't I don't know. And they dropped Kyrie for retweeting, um, uh, anti-Semitic. Yep, anti-Semitic. Did I say it right? Mm-hmm. Yep. Did I say it right? Uh, tweet. Mm-hmm. Keep in mind, same accountability. Cool, but man. You know, I, I seen uh, where uh, Suki was talking about, you know, she feel like he's been targeted. And- if it's not a crime, then he has his rights to do what he wants. It's not a crime. So now at this point, I feel like he's being targeted because he's he's a black successful man. If it's not a crime and you can have your gun that's licensed and you're licensed to carry and you're in, on your property, he should be able to do that just like how everybody else does it. I think it's the I influence disagree. that the NBA holds. Children should learn to shoot. That's how we protect ourselves. That's how we protect ourselves. Like, to be honest, we need to learn how to shoot. Our children should Mm -hmm. learn because that's our self-defense and we deserve those rights. I think guns should be banned altogether. He didn't break a law, right? He didn't. You can own a gun. Uh, But then again, he he has a Nike contract. Police wear Nike, okay? Security guards wear Nike. Bodyguards wear Nike. These are people that have guns. Make sure y'all go check out the Sukiyana interview we just did. It's a code of conduct NBA. Right. Code of Conduct, Memphis Grizzlies. Mm-hmm. Code of Conduct, Nike. Code of Conduct, I believe it was uh, Power Aid. These are four different big brands that were making you millions of dollars. And, you know, I'm not saying that having a gun is illegal. It's perfectly legal to own a gun. Mm-hmm. But going like this with your gun, you know, it's just what, poor what, taste to what, me. But don't you sign something in the NBA that, you know, will the players at least yes. sign something? You, yeah. you work for the company. Now you're, like, for example, I work for Warner Records. I can't be going around saying some bullshit, doing some bullshit. That's a that's gonna be that's for bad any company. On the brand. No, I, that's that's what I was getting to. I was saying that's that's any brand. Listen, if you work at Walmart and you on Facebook Live with a gun, you're probably gonna and your get manager fired. or somebody sees it. I feel like they um you know they're taking it easy on him because at the end of the day, it's like man. You just did this, what, a month ago? Think about it. The NBA markets to kids. You know, when you you got kids watching you and all exactly. that stuff, they're trying to make their money. If you're going to pull out your gun, be at a gun range, um, show how to dis, dis, disarm it or something, have have the tutorial or something, but not, I don't want to listen to music and then you just going like this. I mean... This is what he needs to stop doing. He needs to stop listening to NBA Young Boy. He needs to go listen to some gospel he need to go listen to some. He needs changes. He need to go up. listen to some R and B, man. Stay off social media. How about that? Just stay off social media. Well, he was look. off social media, but his homeboy was on social and media. Nobody around thing. you should be on social media. But that's the thing. You are the company that you keep. Yeah. Get I mean, some that's... LeBrons around you. Man, listen, it's hard, guys. No, that's no, hard for no, a 23, no, it's not. Twenty-four year old. No, it's not. Two hundred and thirty million. No, it's not. Young man, it's not hard. It's not hard to have people around you that care about your brand and care about your likeness and the money that you make. It's not hard. Like, why? I, I don't understand. And, you know, I'm not faulting his friend because you I, his friend obviously had no idea that this dude was about to pull out and a gun. And he dropped the phone as soon as he saw it, but still. Yeah, but it's, it's too late because people are screen recording. If uh, John Morant's in the bit, in, in next in the vicinity, someone that's on the live is going to screen record. They but just, that, but they that's, ready. That's why you got to, man, listen, when you when you around those type of people, man, you just got to stay away from the phone. You, you know what I mean? Like, I you know, I've, I've been around, uh, you know, high level people and, you know, the phone thing is the biggest is the biggest thing you be around these people. They be like, hey, man, I don't, nobody needs to be on their phone. And it's like, especially, man, you got this big contract and you work for a big corporation, a billion dollar corporation. So you think that like I would be around. Yeah. Like you think I would want to be around somebody like him and be like, like I said, stop recording. What, you know five what I'm episodes ago, protect the investment 
protect the investment. But John Morant's a very important person. He makes money playing basketball. We don't need anything for him to anything for him anything to go wrong with him. Mm -hmm. so if you're around him, protect the asset. Mm -hmm. But this also goes back to, you know, every, almost every episode when we're talking, you know, about young men in sports and becoming millionaires and at a young age, they need a buffer, you know, somebody that can help them transition from where you come from to millionaire status. Like if you had like a buffer or some type of camp that these people could go to to learn how to act. They can, so they can go they to my do, camp. So, what's, what's your camp? camp? What's your camp? My, my camp is I mentor a lot of um, NBA players, young you, NBA players. You actually players. do. Yeah, what's uh, it called? It, it's not called anything. It's called, uh, you know, I get a call from agents and they say, hey, I want to put this player who's going into the NBA around you. Well, maybe you should start that. Yeah, maybe you should start yeah, a camp. They, 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 should, they should definitely call me because... A how to act camp. BT's how to act camp. Yeah. I, I would say in the beginning, of the, right when you get there, um, and this is because I know a couple of guys who played the NBA early in their career, they have a sensitivity training and things like that. But, you know, it'd be hard for that to, to keep up and maintain that. But who is it led when, by? I don't know. But I do know veterans come and speak to the young players, especially when they're rookies. So all rookies have a specific thing that they do. And they have rookie contracts for a reason. You know, like in music, sometimes when you have a great producer, they'll go and be around the artist, spend time with them, you know, learn them mm -hmm. and really develop a sound around them. Mm -hmm. You mm -hmm. know, I feel like that's what the player needs to do, needs to be around. They need to you know, go spend some time around people who've already done it, like a LeBron or something like mm -hmm. that, especially when you're a star player and you're having trouble adjusting to your new life. Mm -hmm. Like, just go and be around some some people, you know, and spend some actual time, you know, at least uh, six months or something like that, just to learn the ropes on how to act and things of that nature. You know, you know um, what I realize is that I realize a lot with these, you know, these young NBA players is that they don't have relatable people around them. So most of the time, the, the, you know, the men that are around these guys are like trainers and, you know, people that physically help them get to a certain level. But mentally, they don't have people that's relatable towards them. So a lot of guys, uh, you know, when agents call me and they say, hey, you know, we want you around this guy because he's he's around these type of people. A lot of times you just got to show these guys how they need to move. This is how you need to move. This is how your friends need to move, because these guys aren't listening to their friends because they're like. Listen, I'm a multi-millionaire. These guys are you just... You can't relate. Yeah, right. like they can't relate. So you, you, you what, uh, what I learned is like the agents are older guys. Mm -hmm. So they're like, I can't go to the nightclub with this guy. But yeah. BT could take him there. I can't go to this restaurant. Or I don't know these people here, but they could go with BT. And a lot of things what I always tell these younger players is like, yo, listen, man, make sure that people around you don't have their phones out recording you, you know, um, make sure nobody's like on live. If they're on live, they need to, like, cause it's just not yeah. good for the brand. It's like Agreed. anything that you could do, like an NBA player could be with somebody, um, be in a room and have 20 girls. That's a bad image for them because they're selling images to kids. Mm -hmm. You know, all, all their fans are kids. Yeah, so yeah. any NBA players, you know, have your agents reach out to BT. You know BT yeah, at gmail.com. <laughs> um, yeah. Okay, so let's uh, move on to the playoffs. Any updates? Uh, my Miami Heat are up one uh, against the uh, Boston Celtics. One time for the Heat game. Uh, a lot of people are not picking my Miami Heat. But I'm definitely not. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to rock with them. Uh, Miami Heat will win in six games. It's all good. I'm going with Miami Heat. We go into the finals. That is when I get a little nervous. But we're going to beat Boston Celtics. Lakers play. Man. And um, by the time this episode comes out, I think the Lakers will have it 1-1. I, I agree. Um, the Lakers got their ass kicked by Jokic. But, you know, in the fourth quarter, they kind of figured out, you know, how to how, how to, to stop him. him. Yeah. Because he's like... He's a very like unorthodox player. Like he's, he's not, not like not that he's not at athletic. Yeah, he's not athletic. But he can shoot. But he had a he had an amazing night, man. Remember, he just right right before the, the halftime, he just threw that one shot up. It went in. But we're here like him and Luca got the same play style. It's like facts. but if it's like They're it's almost athletic. like if if Luca was seven foot, th yeah, that's facts. how he that's how he facts. would be playing, and that's why it's hard to guard him because they ain't stop him though. You can't stop him. You have to nah, contain you, him. You can't stop him, and and you know. Another thing, they got to stop depending on Anthony Davis so much, man. They're like trying to work this well, dude LeBron's into the hurt. ground. He's just not going to end it. I'm pretty sure after the season, whenever that is for him, he's going to get foot surgery. 
He has he has a bad foot right now. You think he hurt? No, I'm telling you, he's hurt. He's hurt. They leaning so much on on AD LeBron man. It's hurt. If they if they if they continue leaning on AD as much as they do, energy for the finals. If they can beat Nuggets, I believe the Lakers will win the chip. AD can't beat the Nuggets by himself. Yeah, LeBron got to. Did give you him see something. how they was man? They was making every three. Every, I'm like, how you gonna beat this gonna, team? That's not what happened game two though. I don't know. I don't. I don't know, man. So, we'll see if they if they can stop Jokic from all this awkward ass they, basketball they he be playing. They can't. Like he play, he shoot. Like the way he shoot is just crazy. No arc, no nothing. It's just no. He's not even jumping in the air. What happened with my with my uh, Warriors? Because uh, BT oh, was LeBron so passionate. BT, well, BT was so passionate last he episode. He said that they were gonna win, didn't he? Yeah. I said. He was I said. Wrong. I said. They, I said they were gonna win, and, and he was wrong. You, you know what? It's it's the same thing that I said early in the season when they got rid of Wiseman. I said we have no center. You wasn't saying this three weeks ago though. Three episodes ago, you Listen, was not saying two this. Two episodes ago. Two episodes Listen, ago. Three episodes I ago. Thought, I thought, I thought, I thought they happened. was gonna beat the Lakers. Then, then when I realized we didn't have nobody to guard Anthony Davis, I said, "Oh, this shit is over." But oh, when did you say that? After you told me they were gonna beat, the Lakers? I, I said when I was watching the game. Okay, I, I was watching Anthony Davis uh, put him to bed, and I said, "Damn, that's how we gonna go out." Hey, Warriors. Go get a center, man. Y'all done gave him away. Yeah, they had one, Wiseman. But he was always hurt. He he was hurt for two years. He he needs to go to Detroit and, and get right. But get a center. Because you know what? I think Draymond Green gave away the damn game. I think Draymond Green is about to go to the Lakers. He's helped LeBron get a championship because he was too damn happy to lose that game. Mm. Draymond, Draymond so is, is is helping LeBron get another ring, and I think Draymond is going to leave the Warriors, and I think he's going to sign with the Lakers. It's love versus money on the Baller Alert Show. Back with the Baller Alert Show, love versus money. Uh oh, Rich the Kid and Tory Bricks. Oh man, oh man, Rich the Kid is my real friend. I fuck with Rich the Kid. Uh, that's he's doing love. a lot of cheating in private uh, <laughs> and public apologies. That's love, man. He love he love uh, he loves her and she loves him. And this is from a friend. This is for love. Considering they have a family together now, uh, you know, public apology is love. Yeah, yeah. If you apo- if you apologize, apologize to the on world, Instagram to the world. Because yeah. first of all, I don't want to no, lose her. No man That's, wants to do that. No man wants to publicly apologize because it it, it, it just looks bad. But I think that his love. I mean, me personally, I ain't gonna. I don't, I don't feel like I would ever publicly apologize to a woman. Um, you know, I, I just I just think you know just don't do the dirt. You know what I mean? Because this is how you know that. You know, they they relationship is kind of real rocky. When a man go on Instagram and gotta confess his love for his woman, it's bad, man. But this isn't the first time, right? Yeah. Yeah. So when you, you know, they're dating now and they eventually will probably get married, you know, does it stop they, then? They are, aren't they married? They're I thought married? They, I thought they were already married. They're married, yeah. yeah. Okay. Married already. yeah. Okay, so yeah. even before they were married, he was cheating and he's still doing it. Mm-hmm. Like, yeah, I guess she's just sticking with him till he grows out of it. That's a good question. That is uh, a good question. Allegedly, uh, Rich the Kid has been cheating. Allegedly. Um, I think he's a really good guy. That's my friend. And I'm sticking beside my friend. I heard that. What a weak ass love versus money. <laughs> <laughs> Message. Time for Baller Mail. Dear Baller Alert, my current girlfriend and I have been at odds since her ex-boyfriend put out an album. My girl is extremely attractive. She used to date a a pretty popular rapper. Even I stream his music. Here's the only problem. It's getting very awkward when we both stream his music and I think he's talking about her in the song here or there. It becomes an awkward moment for the both of us for legit the rest of the day. Do I need to suck it up and carry on or do we need to address the elephant in the room and set boundaries because her ex will be releasing music for some time to come? Just address it. Man, who give a shit if who dated who? I was just talking about this. Dang, dog, your ex used to date Drake, bro. Man, I wouldn't give a damn. I'm the one doing this now. I'm the one doing that now. I was just talking to my boy Darius yesterday. We was talking about um, um, how oh, Darius that's friends with Drewski. Yeah, yeah, Drewski. I'm putting out an APB missing person alert. 
for Drewski. You didn't did the baller. Uh, you did the baller interview, but you never did the baller podcast. Bring your ass on the podcast. Make sure you clip this and edit this. I, I will be sending it to Drewski. Go ahead, BT. Okay. So we were we were having a discussion and we were talking about like how you know. Uh, uh, you know, guys having sex with a girl and some other guy dates in, and we was talking about like um, Jeff Bezos. You know, when his when his uh, girlfriend was like all in Leonardo DiCaprio's face and stuff like that when they were like at some dinner, and um, he was like, "Man, you think you think like Jeff Bezos was like hurt about that?" I said, "Bro, Jeff Bezos got a hundred million dollars, and this is his girlfriend right now. You think he care about what another man thinks?" And I say that I say that to say this. Who cares about what famous rapper that was with your girlfriend That's in the past? True too, but you know, a lot of white people, they, they don't care. Yeah. So, uh, <laughs> Jeff uh, Bezos is what? If, if you're writing this all out, you sound a little sensitive, my boy. And um, if you got a very attractive uh, lady, you're going to have to deal with very attractive shit. And unfortunately, somebody had your lady before you. Somebody was tossing her up, tossing the salad. Uh, that ain't gonna make you feel better uh, Deep sea diving in that pool Now I need You have to accept that And either be with her Or shut the fuck up and, and, and dump her And break up with her And go be with somebody Who ain't as fine And be with her If you gonna have A very attractive lady bro You gonna have to deal With very attractive shit Man Get listen Don't bring yeah. up Don't bring up Another man To your woman Cause I'm gonna tell you You talking about You don't like her Listening to his music And all this stuff when you bring that man name up, she gonna start back thinking about him. I'm telling you, I'm telling you right now, don't bring it up. Matter of fact, find a new rapper to listen to. It's it's a million rappers I now. Think, I think I think the guy has got to be Drake or or somebody of that caliber. Because if you if you sent me a, a advice, be saying that um, your 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 lady is extremely attractive. And her ex boyfriend is a big time rapper, and even you stream his music. How insecure are you? Yeah, because he's listening that. to a song, and the artist. I mean, is, but your sloppy seconds is Drake. Come on. I'm not, I mean, I'm not saying it's Drake, but if he's listening to a song and the person is describing his lady, that could man, be awkward. Listen, she was just probably another girl. That, I mean, listen, man. I don't understand why hey, women. Break up with her, bro. If you can't take it, break up with her. Yeah, because no woman likes an insecure man. So I tell you, yeah. I agree with Ferrari said. If, if, if she, it, and if she fine, she you got to deal with fine women shit. Mm -hmm. Somebody insecure. hit that ass before you, big dog. You be all right. All right, that was Baller Mail. Before we get out of here, we do have a pep talk. Today's topic for the pep talk is the company you keep. Yeah, you got to watch the company you keep. Uh, you got to, I think you always got to uh, survey your friends. I think you always got to, Keep a close eye on your friends because you already know who your enemies are, people you can't rock with. But you just got to keep a good, current, solid relationship with your friends and keep an eye on everything. Because situations where uh, Job ja Morant, I don't think should be happening if he had the right friends around him. If he had the right friends around him, in my per personal and professional opinion, we would have heard none of this. Because, again, a really good, solid friend will protect the asset mm -hmm. so you gotta keep you gotta watch the company you keep cause that shit can lead, lead you to jail or death so the the company you keep is, is is really important because you wanna be around people that can help you win I see a lot of people hang around friends that don't uplift them don't get them guidance don't 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 help them in anything like that and people always be like man how can I get to the next level well look around you that's the level you gonna be around <laughs>